Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. Oh my gosh, today's video, I'm gonna be fooling around with the Mo Norman Golf Swing. Yes, this is uh, not something I'm just uh, doing wildly out of the blue, but I've worked with Todd Graves several times and uh, we've become good friends. So I didn't start out to do this practice session imitating Mo or anything like that. I just wound up there which is interesting about my swing evolution. Now, I haven't put up a video in about a week or so because I've been out of town. Yes, I got to play Marion and I played Winged Foot. So I'm going to be making a video about that pretty soon. But I'll tell you, it was, um, what can I tell you, the experience of a lifetime. And this weekend, I've got two spots left for the MSE Intensive here in Pasadena, California, we are going to do two days of golf training, hardcore, and this is all my newest and best stuff, man. We are getting, this is no longer guesswork. We've got it figured out, and that's what this video is a lot about, is like understanding the planes and angles of the body and why the body does what it does. So if you'd like to come out, hit me up, Christo at MySwingEvolution.com. So this video, I'm, I start out, working on just trying to not have any compensations in my swing and, and rotating well. So I use a bat. You guys know I use a baseball bat a lot. And it's so funny because I'll swing a baseball bat and my body doesn't stall in the least. It just turns like it's, you know, a top. But once that ball's on the ground, there tends to be, you know, I fight early extension like many, many golfers do. So I always have to be on top of it. And where my research is leading me now is understanding what causes it, what triggers it to happen. And it's a combination of being out of position and gravity taking over the weight of the club head. And so these angles, you know, I think Mo was a genius because he set himself self up in a way that he could strike the ball square every time, you know, and it's just tricky. You have to, you know, the body, if it is not anatomically in the correct position, no amount of desire will make it work properly. You have to have the placement correct. So this video is a little bit funky and um, it's interesting what I'm experimenting with, but I think you might, be able to take something from this that might be useful in your swing evolution. So I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Okay, guys, so what all this work is about is rotation. And so there's something strange that when you, when I swing a baseball bat, I don't have um, a stall. And so it has to do with the planes of motion. That's what I'm convinced of at this point. And so here I'm exaggerating everything just to see what would happen. And so um, here I'm like, okay, what if I, you know, get a, a lot of a high degree of angle between my hips and my spine and try and, and see if that will help me to continue to rotate. And so, you know, here I'm just fooling around. But if we take a look at this, for example, you know, I look pretty good here, but right in here, I, I just kind of stall. So my hips are a little bit open. My shoulders are pretty square, but I'm trying to keep rotating. And that's, this is the challenge for most golfers. This is what I'm trying to, to solve. And, you know, I've, I've looked high and low and I've tried everything, you know, but I can rotate better with a driver, I, I believe, because the ball is teed up. But when the ball's on the ground, it becomes really, really a challenge. Like when I'm hitting a wedge, it's, it's harder for me to be able to continue my rotation. So here, what I'm doing is I've decided to, like you can see here, as I swing with the club off the ground, as if I had a baseball bat, which you guys know I like to practice with, Notice there's no stall in my rotation. That's, that's where I wish I was. That's where, you know, Hogan and all these great players are. 
But as soon as you get down to the ground, that plane just changes the way our skeleton moves, or at least for me, you know, everybody's unique in their body construction. You know, so what I'm actually doing here that's a little bit different is I'm, I'm lifting, I'm lifting the club a little bit before I drop it. And this is, I guess, a pitching wedge. And all of a sudden we're going to see now I've got much better rotation with this club. I don't know where the ball's going. That was like a dead pull, but you know, again, I'm I'm just experimenting, and you have to be will, willing to to go through the valley of the shadow of death to be able to really rebuild your golf swing. But if you look at my angles here, the angle of that club is like 90 degrees to my spine. That's where I, I that's my dream position. That's where I want it to to be. And here I'm pulling it through. And wouldn't you know it, like, much better rotation. Once again, trying to keep that feeling of rotation in my body. Letting the arms come along for the ride, a big part of it. If you gas your arms and hands, it makes the body stall. That's one of the biggest things. I've had to learn in my swing evolution is to let the arms come along for the ride. So that was a good hit. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So I'm more over uh, bent at the hips forward at a dress. My hips aren't really opening up very much in the swing. Belt buckle at the ball, kind of modern swingy, left heel on the ground. But I'm focusing on my turn. So here the lower body is turning pretty well with the arms coming along for the ride. Right in here is the devil. This is Shangri-La. This is where, where it's make or break. And I believe it's because... With a baseball bat, with the club off the, the bat swinging above the, the ground, um, gravity doesn't take over as much. But here, gravity takes the weight of the club head, and I kind of stall a little bit. But, I mean, I, I it's a well-struck shot. So you can play golf all these different ways. I'm trying to minimize my misses. I want to have the least... I, I want to have the most margin for error. I'm convinced that Mo Norman, Ben Hogan, and Lee Trevino, the way they swung in their planes of motion, they had the greatest margin for error. And uh, the more you have early extension and steep swinging, the faster your face uh, rotation is going to be. So it's very difficult to you know, be really consistent that way. So here I think I'm starting to feel like Trevino-y. I'm trying to loop it out and then drop it under. Yeah, this this looks really good, but again, this is my El Guapo right in here. Just a tad of early extension. Every day, you know, trying to get better just little by little. So now I step up to the heavy driver. And this is really a great tool for me to have. And one thing you're going to notice here is I've got the ball teed as high as I can tee it up to try and allow me to continue to rotate to see, see what that would do to my swing. It's all right. It's a dead pull. Just out of curiosity, let's see what, what it looked like. Already we can see if you if you notice my hips, they're turning better. I've got I've got 
deep, pretty good clearance here on my hips and my shoulders. I wouldn't be mad at that. But, you know, I mean, I'm fooling around. You know, ball placement is key, and I end up, you know, pulling this one left. I think that's how I start out uh, with these swings. But, again, you know, we're just we're seeing it's an experiment. So that one actually hit pretty solid, but but it was, again, a pull left. But, it, but again, I'm liking... I'm liking what I'm seeing with my rotation. So here I'm imagining baseball. Okay, that was smoked. And I wouldn't say right here that I'm even doing the Mo yet. This is still more of a Trevino type of move. But again, all these all these guys are related. Yeah, that club's pretty shallow. I've got really good good clearance through this hit. Good body rotation. So I'm getting somewhere. Pretty interesting. Now this here I've got, I'm trying something different. I've got the club set like a foot, a, a foot behind the ball. Ball teed up as high as possible. Got the club on the ground. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on. This is when I start to move into the most stuff. I've got my hands a little bit higher. So this is more single planey. Good body rotation, straight pull. Probably the same thing I'm going to guess. Good rotation. Yeah, it, check this out. So watch my legs and my hips. This is just not having it aimed properly. My ball position needs adjustment. But what's happening with my body is what I'm more concerned about. So I'm hovering the club here. That's one of... Oh, this is definitely when I start to really say, okay, let's just go ahead and go full mo. You see me set my spine tilt. This is what Todd Graves taught me. It's so much fun. I, I got to tell you guys, to be friends with somebody the caliber of Todd Graves and to be able to talk to these experts, whether it's Greg McHatton or Todd, and be kind of be in the club with them considering where I started, it's just an absolute honor. And then to be able to take their technique and, and fool around with it is a blast. Look at that right there. Boy, I even do the little mo finish. Check this out. <laughs> so I'm feeling it. So let's look at the plane of this swing right here that I just did. I've got the, the shaft plane running up through my right forearm. I think that's pretty much what Todd taught me. I'm going to try and keep this on a single plane. Now the camera angle is a little off kilter. My camera angle is a little bit forward, so it's not going to be exactly right. But we're going to, we're, this is going to be very instructive what we're going to see here. Because this is a lower pane of glass. This is the shaft plane. There's no shoulder plane in this swing. So I keep it under the whole way. Now, my shoulders are flat, my grip's a little strong, and that club is pointing towards the sky. I'm not sweating that. You know, it's just, it is what it is. And here I'm loading in, getting down. Hips are clearing. And at impact, 
That's, that's what I'm trying to do. If this if this camera was straight behind me, like straight down the line, I think we'd see a lot of hip clearance. Let's kind of kind of see how how the body moves, like comp with uh, hopefully no compensations or minimal. Now Todd would tell me to keep my rear foot on the ground. I'm trying to, but as I get left, I just it just is coming up. So maybe I'm getting too far left. That's something to think about. But this was a very satisfying hit. Totally ripped it right down the middle. So let's watch it one more time. Man, I feel like I'm such a good iron player that if I could get this down, if I could get in the fairway more consistently, that's what it's going to take to be able to, to break into the 60s someday. So here I'm swinging baseball style. Now let's take a look at this, for example. See how open my body is? That's because gravity is not having an influence on these swings. I'm just swinging the club around my spine. You know, it just becomes uh, so such a different thing once you go down to get the ball and 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 you know pick it off the ground. But that's the kind of feeling that I wish I could have in my swing. Which, you know, these guys, you know, Mo Trevino and Hogan, they're just they don't really have a lot of, you know, any adjustments. They don't they don't have them through the hit. It just flows. So here I'm lifting it. This is a little Trevino. -y. But again, that's a perfectly fine hit. Here's the stiff leg version of Mo. Which, by the way, that felt a little funky, you know, trying to do this like, the, you know, here's another part of the variation, you know, where Mo, he said, you know, you know, what's what's straighter than straight? You know, his legs are straight. He was always measured like he, he just developed these systems. He's really pretty brilliant in the way that he came up with this stuff. But he, he's going through he went through an evolution. looking at my rear heel it's looking pretty good uh, it still comes up a little bit see this is this is not bad stuff man I'm I am not I am not hating this again I think that what these great ball strikers did, however they got there, they got there. And that is, uh, that's my quest too. So this is, uh, I actually have this on slow motion here. The, uh, it, it's funny filming on these phones. If you cut the video too soon, it speeds up. But let's take a look at this. Um, what we've got going on now what I have going on here is I've got the ball teed up pretty high for me uh, higher than normal I've got spine tilt to the rear this is a major part of the Mo swing um, this is you know what Todd taught me now notice the very stable head by having my spine tilted I'm really able to coil around my spine I find I find this pretty interesting, man. My head is rock solid. As I get to the top, I've got a pretty full shoulder turn, but it's super flat compared to what a normal, say, PGA Tour level swing would be. Also, notice both of my feet are planted. That's a difference between uh, Hogan and, and Mo. He did. I mean, Mo didn't really have a big opening with his hips on the backswing, although my hips are pretty open here. But 
This transition looks pretty good. Still very similar to my Hogan swing. Those could be my swing fingerprints, but I think my swing fingerprint is pretty flat. Man, that looks pretty, pretty darn good. That, I look like I'm ready to go bananas right there, man. So there's just ever so slightly a hint of stall right in here. It's not bad, not bad at all. That belt buckle is moving. I'm right there. It's just, I mean, I've reached the end. That's that's what it is. You know, it's gonna it's gonna stop turning and start to move vertical. The problem uh, with golfers is that it stops too early and starts going vertical too soon. That's pretty good extension down the line, too. Wow. So that's interesting. Let's watch it one more time. All right, so that's my Mo Norman swing. This weekend, got two spots left for the MSC Intensive in Pasadena from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. MSC Golf Intensive, golf training all weekend long. Hit me up, Christo, at myswingevolution.com for details. Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. A few years back, I picked up Ben Hogan's Five Lessons book because I wanted to improve my golf game. Well, my golfing dreams came true. Today, I'm sponsored by the Ben Hogan Golf Company. I've shot under par many times, and I even had the chance to play Ben Hogan in a Golf Channel special. So in this series, I'm going to take you through the most important lessons that I learned from Ben Hogan's famous book. 